Welcome to InstaSpin Motion. In this video, you'll learn how to evaluate InstaSpin Motion through the graphical user interface. The first step is to identify your motor's parameters. You can do this manually or automatically with a single click of a button. The system will automatically recognize the hardware target. In this case, we're working with the DRV8312 kit. Based on the hardware target, the settings and control timing are automatically populated. When the motor identification process is complete, the identified motor parameters are displayed on the screen. Next step is to identify the system inertia. Inertia represents the mass that is connected to the shaft of a motor that accelerates and decelerates with the motor shaft. Let's take, for example, a washing machine. The drum of the washing machine is considered to be part of the inertia, but any clothes or water inside the drum would not be. We recommend that you do the inertia estimation with the washing machine drum connected, but completely empty. You can estimate the system inertia by clicking a single button. The system will accelerate and decelerate the motor to get a picture of how much mass is connected to the motor shaft. The inertia value is used by the controller to determine how strongly it needs to compensate for disturbances in the system. As you can see, the process is now complete. Now that we've identified the system inertia, we can tune the controller. A single parameter, called bandwidth, is used to tune the controller. The motor speed is set to zero, and we'll start with a bandwidth of 20. At this bandwidth, it's very easy to rotate the motor shaft. The GUI displays two graphs, the speed error and the IQ reference. The speed error tells us how far the motor is deviating from zero speed as we introduce manual disturbance by rotating the shaft. The IQ reference shows how strongly the controller is compensating for these disturbances. Let's increase the bandwidth to 40. At this bandwidth, it's more difficult to rotate the motor shaft. This means that the controller is compensating for disturbances more aggressively. Now let's increase the bandwidth to 60. At this bandwidth, it's very difficult to rotate the motor shaft. We see that the speed error is pretty low, and the IQ reference shows that the controller is responding very aggressively. Notice that the speed error has decreased as we've increased the bandwidth. Also notice that the IQ reference has increased as we've increased the bandwidth. This means that as the bandwidth increases, the controller is exerting more effort to hold zero speed. Once the controller is tuned, it will compensate for disturbances across the entire operating range. To verify this, let's increase the motor speed to its maximum of 4,000 RPM. We see that there is no oscillation in the speed error or the IQ reference indicating that the controller is very stable. Now that we have a well-tuned controller, let's move on to generating trajectories. The motion profiler supports three curve types, the trapezoidal curve, the S-curve, and the line stream proprietary ST-curve. The ST-curve uses two parameters, acceleration and jerk, to determine how to move from one speed to another. The ST curve will generate a very smooth trajectory from speed A to speed B. Jerk is the rate of change of acceleration. If we set the acceleration and jerk limits to the maximum values, you'll see a very fast transition between speeds. If we minimize the jerk but keep the acceleration the same, you'll see a very smooth transition between speeds. Thank you. 
Let's compare this to the trapezoidal curve, which has infinite jerk. This means that the motor will immediately transition between speeds, but the sharp transition could eventually harm the motor. One of the biggest values of InstaSpin Motion is that a single tuning parameter works across the entire speed and load range, whereas traditional PI controllers typically require multiple sets of tuning parameters. We've seen the performance of the InstaSpin Motion controller, now let's compare that to the PI controller. The motor is at zero speed, and the KP and KI gains have been set. If we manually disturb the motor shaft, we see through the speed error that the controller is tuned fairly well for zero speed. Now we'll increase the speed reference to 4000 RPM and we see a fairly smooth trajectory. However, notice that the acceleration is very low. Remember that when we maxed out the acceleration for the InstaSpin motion controller, we set it to 12,000 RPMs per second. Let's change the acceleration of the PI controller to 1200 RPMs per second. At this acceleration, the motor starts to oscillate and we can see the oscillation in the speed error. This means that the PI controller requires multiple sets of tuning parameters. With PI control, you'll need to invest more time in identifying all of the variables for your application. You'll need to invest more time in identifying tuning sets for each combination of variables. And you'll need to invest more time in doing validation testing. Bottom line, PI tuning requires a bigger investment. Let's do a quick review. Today we've seen how InstaSpin Motion can simplify your application's motion control design. You can quickly and easily tune your controller and design your motion profiles. InstaSpin Motion saves time. We've seen how the motor parameters are quickly identified and we've experienced single parameter control tuning. TI's Motorware Library, User Guide, and Labs help you quickly build this motor control expertise into your own application. And let's not forget about performance. InstaSpin Motion's controller provides tight control across the entire operating range, and the Motion Profiler helps you design the optimal transitions from one speed to another. Now that you've seen this video, you're ready to evaluate InstaSpin Motion. The graphical user interface is included in the MotorWare download file. You can use any of the three evaluation kits. And if you would like additional information, please visit www.ti.com slash instaspin or www.linestream.com slash ti.aspx. Thank you for evaluating InstaSpin Motion.